This is Justin Johnson and today I'm going to be teaching one of the most important, influential and uh, one of my favorite blues riffs of all time, or guitar riffs of all time really, and it's the riff from Hoochie Coochie Man from Muddy Waters. I'm going to be teaching it on the four string cigar box guitar here. This was built by Charles Atchison from just outside of Atlanta. and. Whether you're playing a three string or a four string guitar, this lesson will apply to both. And I'm also going to teach an arrangement of this song for the fretless guitar using just the slide, but also for the fretted guitar. So you'll have a couple different arrangements to learn as well. Alright, so before we get started, let's go ahead and tune up. This guitar is in an open G tuning. So whether you're playing a three string guitar or a four string guitar, they're both going to be in an open G tuning. They're both going to have the same bottom three strings. That first low string is going to be a G. That second string is going to be a D. That third string is going to be a G, an octave above the bass note. a three string guitar you stop there but if you have a four string like this one then you know that high string is going to be a B okay so I'm going to teach you a couple different variations on this song the first variation I'm going to teach you is for the slide guitar so let's say you have a three string or a four string guitar and you don't have any frets, or let's say you just want to play this song with the slide to get the different voice, the, the different inflections that come with playing the finger slide with it. Either way, what you're going to want to start with, I think, when you approach this song is the rhythm. You know, one of the things that feels so good and so strong about those Muddy Waters songs is that really tight rhythm section. It's one of those things that, that can go underappreciated a lot of times. So you want to get this real strong rhythm, like You know, it's this nice driving rhythm. Right now I'm just muting these strings over here with my fretting hand. And I'm just focusing on getting that rhythm, you know. Make it move you a little bit. You know, you want to almost not be able to help tap your toe. Don't be afraid to hit those strings too, whether you're using a guitar pick or your fingers. Just swat those strings. Get a nice, nice strong, nice percussive attack. And I wouldn't even go ahead until you until you feel comfortable with that rhythm. You know, if you can't get that rhythm, there's no use going on to the rest of the song. You know, you got to really feel good about that. When the verses are happening, when the singing's going on on this song, the guitar really is holding out, and the guitar responds. It's called what's called a call and response uh, in music, where the singing's over here, Muddy Water sings something, and then the band comes out with Muddy Water singing. So that's the riff I'm going to teach you right now on the slide guitar. So again, I'm doing that percussive rhythm. 
then I then I go open five three open. You notice I, I slide up um, from about the third fret to the fifth. Down to the third. And then I hit that open and I I hit that, uh, it's called staccato. It's a real short, abrupt attack. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting it and then muting it with my fretting hand. Listen to the difference. This is with the muting, the staccato muting. This is without it. It doesn't have the same feel. You really want it to have that percussive feel. Keep the percussive feel going. Again, you're doing that call and response. Keep doing that. But this part really follows the vocals. And right before you build up to that next section, that's when you stop doing that muting. You stop that staccato feel. building up. You see how that builds up the presence, it builds up the anticipation for the next chord change. Then you want to go up to the fifth fret. You put that slide right over that fret. Then you go back. So again, let's do that. Build up the anticipation and then go up to the fifth fret. doing there is open three open I'm sliding up to that three that third fret and then to the fifth every once in a while I'll, I'll just kind of slide down and go open instead of doing the percussive muting that I was doing before we're gonna add some some open notes to that some open strings and again notice where I'm muting and that muting is very important in creating that rhythmic feel hear the difference between that and if I did it without any muting so let me uh, let me play that part there when I go up to the fifth fret and come back down and then come back to the G come to what's called the turnaround in a 12 bar blues song. This is where you go up to the 7th fret and then the 5th fret and then open again. So again 7th fret then 5th fret and then you break back into that that rhythm right there. And then 7th fret. And then you start back into that call and response. So let's start back into this slide version of Hoochie Coochie Man. And when you, when you count a song off like this, you count it off 1, 2, 3. See how I start before that next measure? That's called a pickup when you start before the first beat 
of that measure. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, go, I'm counting one, two, three. going like this now hold it out hold that anticipation and fifth fret the whole song that's the rhythm part for that whole song we didn't have to use any of the frets we got the feel we got the rhythm the chord changes all of that's consistent there now let's say you want to learn this without the slide let's say you have a fretted guitar a three string or four string and you want to get some more of that classic uh, muddy waters uh, rhythm section sound when they're playing it they're playing it with frets generally they're not playing those chords and those hits with a slide sounds more like this instead of that so let's learn this again we're gonna start with the same idea we're gonna have that call and response what I'm doing there is I'm going open third fret fifth fret third fret open so it's still open third fifth only now we're going open three five three open and I'm basically only playing the bottom two strings so while those other two strings are there for the chords we'll be playing later we're not actually going to be even playing those right now so whether you have a three string or a four string you're really only using those bottom two Again, let's follow that call and response. One, two, three. building up that anticipation on those open strings that's when you strum that whole chord just like we did with the slide version now we're going to go up to the fifth fret and we're going to do this riff right here and that's uh, barring the fifth fret put your index finger across that whole fifth fret there when you do that you want to go note by note if you're just learning how to bar that fret make sure you hit all those strings and they're all pushed down and sounding uh, nice and solid on that fifth fret and you get that same rhythm you were doing before and you do and then put your pinky or your ring finger on the seventh fret of that D string If it's hard for you to bar at first that's all right you can just use the bottom two strings again you don't have to use all of them so it all depends on the sound you want and as you build up your finger strength you know you can learn you play less strings and just learn different ways of making that work until you have the finger strength and arm strength to push that whole bar chord down so again that last uh, And 
gonna do that same riff open now. And that's open, and then the second fret on the D string. So we're gonna do on the fifth fret one. turn around the seventh fret that same riff um, in on the seventh fret and then the same riff on the fifth fret then you come up and you just rock that seventh fret and then start over so let's play this fretted version of Hoochie Coochie Man all the way through nice and slow. One, two, three. starting back over again. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to find more of my music, you can go to justinjohnsonlive.com. If you want more lessons or instructional material, you can go to rootsmusicschool.com. See you at the next lesson.